we don't need. And let me show you what we are gonna make next, ladies. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to be keep myself organized. All right, let's put those over here too. There, okay, so the next one is super duper fun too. Really bright, beautiful color combination. Now this one you can see I used the outline on and then did my stamping. And I just have to mention, because I love, and I think this is truly one of the best things about Stampin' Up! is kind of their color and product coordination. So what I mean by that is, for example, we used Daffodil Delight ink, we used Daffodil Delight cardstock, and we used Daffodil Delight ribbon. Same thing with our Bermuda Bay. This is a piece of designer series paper. Bermuda Bay ink there and there. And then the Whisper White kind of pulls from the Whisper White in our designer series paper too. So one of the best things that makes it so easy, right, to make beautiful, um, really well completed looking projects because of that color coordination that we have. So don't go buy in any other colors of cardstock. You guys all know, I hear this all the time, Stampin' Up! cardstock is bar none the best cardstock out there. So get the cardstock and then get the ink and get the embellishments and everything works so beautifully together, right? Okay, so let me show you uh, this project. Okay, let's put those right there. Um, we only need to, you know what, let's do our die cutting right now because we only need one little die cut before I get everything out. We're going to stamp our thanks, which is again from our inspiring Iris stamp set, that cute little thanks right there. And thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like that card. Uh, okay, so on here, we're going to do this and then I'll give you dimensions. Okay, so we have Bermuda Bay ink, like I said, that matches our Bermuda Bay cardstock. We're gonna stamp our thanks, that nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. Look at how cute that is. Love the cursive, because I have the worst handwriting these days, I think is why I love, <laughs> love that cursive. Okay, the other thing I wanna show you guys. So these are the perfect parcels dies, okay? So you get a bunch of them. It doesn't look like much right here, right? But you get these three, we're gonna use this one on there. This is a fun detail. This actually can fit right inside there. And then there's this whole box die that comes in there too. So this whole, oops, and a couple of extra little pieces here too. But this is a die. When you cut two of these, you can make a box with it. And then some little detailed pieces or a tag topper right there too. So an awesome set of dies. And we are just going to use the label die on this card. Okay here we're gonna scoop that stuff there too all right so let me little pieces are flying everywhere okay so we're gonna do our die cutting just on that little label so again I have my magnetic platform one clear pad I've got my white cardstock that I stamped my Bermuda Bay ink on ink and then that's gonna wing around a little bit that does that when that does that just move your paper you can't fight the magnetic field I always like kind of jokingly say that right but it's true then you put one more clear cutting pad on top. Okay. Cranking the handle and we are all set. And you guys, you all kind of know this, right? I don't even call this a big shot anymore because we're not even really selling a big shot. I believe in our next annual catalog, our new die cutting machine will be revealed. So super excited to see what that's gonna be all about. We as demonstrators can actually see that next week. So that'll be very fun to find out what, what it's gonna be, right? Okay, so let me give you some dimensions. Again, we made another tall card. Let's move that up there, okay? So this time we have Daffodil Delight cardstock, okay? Um, again, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it in half at four and a quarter inches, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? Got our crisp fold on our card. We're gonna scoot those right up there then and I used so the designer series paper comes and I can't show you the back actually I do have another piece so this is the brights designer series paper you get two sheets of kind of that cursive writing and on the back side is that chicken wire print maybe and then you get two sheets of the gingham and then kind of the is that I don't know argyle whatever you want to call that does that sorry I'm flipping it around 
So here I am looking at it. I'm not sure if you guys can see it very well. So front and back of this one, and then front and back of that one. So you get two of each of these. So you get four sheets and then 10 different colors in the brights pack, 10 in the subtles, 10 in the regals, 10 in the neutrals, but you get two of each pattern, if that makes sense. So kind of a fun um, variety pack of paper with the colors and then a couple of different patterns. So I wanted to use this gingham and see which one do we like better. So this piece measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then we have another piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock that measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter and Whisper White that is three by four inches. Okay, so let's do our stamping here. So this time, like I mentioned, I did use the outline image of the irises. So we are going to, and this is kind of a little ink pad and a big, and this one's a lot harder. This is a linen ink pad. I would never, you guys hear how it's like pounding. I would never pound like this on one of our other um, firm foam ink pads, but I think I'm good. And actually, I need to do that twice, don't I? So we're gonna stamp once. And I'm gonna press firmly to make sure I get all the ink off and lift up. Okay, and we're gonna do that one more time. Maybe right about there. Okay, beautiful, right? So you could have some fun coloring that yourself if you would like to do that with watercolor pencils or your aqua painter or maybe our blends markers. I am going to just use our stamps again because I love how easy this is. Now, the one thing I did do was I stamped off on these because when I at first stamped this, this is pretty vibrant all on its own, right? I stamped fully and it was super like saturated. Like it was just a little too much for me. So maybe I'll just use this little, I got a little scrap paper right here. So we're gonna stamp it on scratch paper. And then what is left of the ink? <gasps> well, we're gonna do that one. Oh, let me show you. Okay, so I was gonna do, um, yeah, we gotta flip that over. Cause the blue is supposed to be down there. Hold the phone, ladies. Okay, that's all right, here we go. So we're gonna grab our, oh, what's that called, the chamois? That's the chamois, we're gonna just tamp that off there. I'm gonna show you how awesome our Whisper White cardstock is. Plus I got a little bit on there that I don't want on there. So we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna try it again. So we're gonna grab the black ink that almost looked like it had escaped. I'm gonna put that one on there so I remember <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay, so once again, I'm trying not to get black ink on anything either. Here, let's move you up there a little bit more so I have a little more room. Tap, 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 okay. Boy, I hope I can do this one right, because I only have two sides, right? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do this one more time. Again, don't ever pound that hard with um, our other ink pads. Just with that linen black memento ink, you can do that. Okay, I think it probably needs to be re-inked too. That might be part of the issue. Okay, so now we're actually going to, oh, Oh, Nancy. Oh, perfect. I'm so glad I'm showing these today then. Nancy's saying that these are not orderable. So I don't know if that's going to mean that they're going to go away before we even get a chance to order them. Maybe we'll still be able to. Thank you for that info, Nancy. So if you couldn't do it with these brights colors, see, do, you, do you see how I'm stamping? I'm going to stamp off and then because I just it was too dark. It was too bright. It was too much. Um, when I stamped it fully. So you could always adapt this is what I was starting to say. If you cannot get the Brights um, cardstock, if you don't have this already, the Brights Designer Series paper, you could adapt this and do maybe subtles. It'd be very pretty. I've seen lots. This stamp set, everyone is loving using um, like purples and greens. So you could do like a Highland Heather and like a pear pizzazz or something that you could change this. You could do this basic layout and then just change your colors. Just use some of say the um, subtles paper instead would be a great choice also. So, okay. I think we did all of our stamping. Yeah, all right, so let's put things together. So you can see this was my little scrap paper. Just gonna toss that aside. We are done with that. Okay, and we are going to add 
some adhesive on our white piece that we stamped. So you can see there's the stamping on the back. Once we put it on here, you are not going to be able to see, right? You cannot see the stamping that I did on the back there at all. Okay, so now this one, we wanted to see what do we like better? Do we like the kind of cursive writing or do we like this gingham? I think they're both going to be super cute. Okay, so we're gonna put that one on there. Now, my Daffodil Delight. This is the ruched ribbon. This is a fun, can you see that kind of gathering? I, I gave this away a couple of weeks ago on Facebook Live, if you remember. It was a fun, it was, um, this is a ribbon that is in our spring mini catalog and it was on back order for quite a while, so I kind of hesitated showing it, but it is available as of yesterday. Hopefully it still is available. Things change quickly sometimes. Um, so we're just tying a bow around here. And that looks kind of funny. I think I'm going to, let's see. We're gonna do that one more time. Do you see how I like to kind of do it um, at the side? Actually, let's go that way right there. There's something about usually it helps me make a decent bow. We'll see. Try this one more time and you can see that doesn't look so great. So then you just kind of keep your finger on the knot and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't, but we'll just kind of keep playing. We'll get it there, right? Okay, so then you can kind of scoot that around a little bit. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so you could just keep playing and playing with that bow, right? We are also going to put some dimensionals on the back of our sentiment, our little thanks sentiment. We are gonna add these. Uh, let's see, that looks good, right? Okay, I like to kinda, so I got a little blue smudge there, so we're gonna have to kinda cover that up. So we're gonna have to just scoot that down a little bit more. So you can see there are no mistakes, only opportunities to embellish, we say. So we're gonna just add that right on there. Now, we're gonna flip this over. And I'm going to add, what is wrong with my snail? Sometimes it just doesn't want to run quite as well as we would like. <gasps> no, you know what? Hmm. Okay, it'll be all right. I wanted to pop this up on dimensionals. So I am just going to put those dimensionals wherever I put my snail, and then I think that should work. Well, it's maybe a good thing that my snail didn't work so well. Oops, that one went off the edge. Let's scoot that one over a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Woo. All right. We're kind of like a hot mess here, aren't we, ladies? Huh? Whew. Good thing. <laughs> Good thing you all know me pretty well by now, right? Okay. All right. We'll pop those. I think that should work. We'll just be careful not to press super hard. Or if it does stick down there, it'll probably pop back up there. So we'll just kind of put that. I got to trim. Trim that just a titch. And then one final step is to add. Now, okay, these are the holiday rhinestones. They came in like a blue, a red, a green, something else. And this is actually orange. But this is one time where I thought, because um, I didn't, I couldn't find any Daffodil Delight um, little rhinestones or gems or anything. So I thought this one, even though it's maybe more of an orange, like a pumpkin pie or something, I think you can kind of bend it to make it look like it is a Daffodil Delight um, rhinestone instead. So these are still available as far as I know, the holiday rhinestones. I will give you the item code on my blog, but they are 150457 if you want to get a package of these. This doesn't show you anything because I've used most of them. But anyway, you got a few there that you can kind of see. But those were beautiful. Okay, I think we did it, ladies. Shoo wee, right? Okay, so let me give you a quick recap just so everybody's on the same page. Actually, here, let's pull this guy out because I forgot to mention last week, right? So if you put an online order in of at least $30 using our host code, the X9M4R36Q, you are going to get one of each of these cards, either fully completed cards or the make and takes. You let me know, right? Your name is going to go in the drawing to win the Hoot Hoot Hooray stamp set. If you bump your order up to $50, you are also gonna to get to choose from either the Demo Design Dream Team, the April tutorial, or a package of the new Gilded Gems. Let me see if I can show you guys this a little bit better too. So these are part of the new ornate 
um, garden bundle, I think it's called. So these are gonna be in our next annual catalog. These will be around for a while. They are beautiful. We had lots and lots of fun playing with them on the projects that I'll show you guys next week. So Teresa, you are welcome for the inspiration. I'm so glad you could join us. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Give me a little while this afternoon. I'll have everything uploaded on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and you can see pictures, item codes, dimensions, everything that you need to know if you want a quick recap. So thanks guys so much. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe, getting outside when you can. A guy just rode by on his bike. Okay, the snow is stopped. That's good, right? So yeah, get outside, get some fresh air when you can. Um, and stay safe and hopefully this will all be over soon and in the meantime we'll just play in our craft rooms and enjoy ourselves so thanks everybody we'll see you next friday at 11 30 a.m oh and don't forget those retiring lists are coming out next wednesday so mark your calendars everybody it's like hard to know what day of the week it is right so set an alarm on your phone or something so that you're watching for those retiring lists next week on wednesday all right bye everybody have a great week we'll see you or weekend we'll see you next friday